I feel it's on one of those days where I kind of feel like ugly you know like if you wake up and you look in the mirror and you feel ugly the whole day that's how I'm feeling today but I hope that putting on a little bit of makeup will just kind of make me feel a little bit more awake and ready for the day if you have any waterproof mascara recommendation down below in the comment section, please let me know. I bought this, I really love this Clinique waterproof one, but I bought it in December and I don't know, it's kind of empty now. I just, I don't get it. The last, the one I, I had before that, it was the iconic London one. I really love it, but it's not waterproof and it lasted me for like six months. So I don't understand why the Clinique one, I don't know why it's just... I was just, I don't know, I feel like a mascara should last me a little longer than that. So, it's also not a cheap mascara and I don't want to spend my money every two months. I don't know. I, I don't like it. Let me know in the comment section below. So, I feel like I'm ready to tackle the day. So, let's start with the bedroom. I'm also going to listen to my soft morning music to wake up to uplifting beat chill morning relaxing background playlist. Because I don't feel like watching a show. I don't feel like listening to other people. I just want to be in like some sort of soft, relaxed vibe while I clean my house. That's a good one. So I am taking a little bit of a break from cleaning and organizing. I finally figured out why I woke up this morning so puffy and so like bloated, but that's because I ate popcorn last night and that popcorn was slightly too salty. So that's, that's why I felt particularly ugly this morning. But I did my bedroom. I did the little hallway going to my bedroom and the first load is in. I still need to tackle the bathroom. It is quite dirty and I really, really, really need to deep clean it. I didn't have to deep clean the other spaces because I already deep cleaned it not too long ago. And I just mostly need to just do the surfaces and put away the stuff the second part of the the second bedroom is my office and it gets messy quite easily i have quite a lot of laundry i need to put away i don't really have a system in that room and it shows because that room i could barely maintain that room um i downstairs i don't really have a lot to do i don't barely have any dishes i don't i just need to tidy up put some stuff away here and there my vacuum the whole house and probably mop too i'm not sure though but I also need to return my packages. So my desk space, as you can see, already looks a lot better, a little organized. My cable management absolutely sucks. And I really need to fix it, but honestly, it's not that big of a problem. So the problem is not big enough for me to fix it. That's how I've been feeling about it, pretty much. I really do want to fix it, but, uh, you know, uh. the second load is in, which is fantastic. I am getting closer to finishing this up. As you can see, those are all the clean clothes I need to put away. That is also one thing I cannot keep on top of, this is laundry. I feel like one week I'm like on top of it. I barely have anything to do and the next week it just piles up and piles up and piles up. 
honestly i don't understand it as i was cleaning my space today i was also thinking about where does all the dust come from like we are barely upstairs i mean i get the dust downstairs i get it i get it our cat is also mostly downstairs and we hang out downstairs but upstairs i just i just i don't i don't understand it anyway this is also me procrastinating putting away my clean clothes so there's that anyway i should just get started on the clothes i can't i don't feel like doing it so one thing i have been genuinely not really struggling with but perhaps struggling is not really a right the right word but it i was actually quite surprised how long how much time working actually takes out from from me like in a week if that makes sense and i'm not necessarily talking about how much time i'm actually spending at work and i'm also not really talking about commuting to work and coming back home like my commute per day is like two hours max in the morning one hour door to door and in the afternoon slash night one hour again door to door that is without like train being cancelled and delays and all those things my schedule is actually pretty flexible and i get to work i usually keep it to like i'm in the office two times twice a week and I'm, i get to work from home twice a week i don't work full time and even then i feel like i could barely keep on top of my 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 house stuff i need to do like my chores if that's perhaps i should call it that my chores like the last two weeks i was in the office three times as opposed to two on two and I struggled with being on top of like laundry and all like one day, one day made a huge difference. And that's, I guess this huge pile is the result of like two weeks being in the office, just one extra day. I just, I, I do not understand that. I just... the bathroom and i mm, have quite a lot of scrub it up dubbing to do the bathroom is always the part that i dislike the most i just don't know what it is it just grosses me out and i think in the future i'm gonna get like this water steamer thing so that i don't have to use a lot of chemicals and hopefully that'll motivate me a little bit more to clean the bathroom but i don't know i i think i should clean it every week or so so that i don't really have a lot to like actually scrub so i could maintain it i feel like that's easier but for some reason i just i can never seem to fit it into my weekly routine anyway me talking this much is also me procrastinating so let's let me just let me just do this thing